Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the Propel Ultra X drone. This drone has a 720p HD camera with Wi Fi FPV streaming. It has altitude hold, it has auto takeoff, auto land, and optional three or four channel control. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this large black and transparent box showing the drone and transmitter clearly there in the front through the transparent plastic. And this is the Propel Ultra X Wi-Fi HD drone with live video streaming. Altitude stabilization technology provides stable video footage, streams live video to your mobile device with built-in camera and it streams to your device and this is for intermediate and advanced skill level and there's uh, performance grade RC unlimited replacement parts for a year and streaming video and right here on the bottom you can see that it includes a micro SD card and two batteries for extra flight time and right here on the side you can see a listing of all its features such as uh, streams to device altitude hold six axis gyro 2.4 gigahertz control, three speeds, onboard camera, onboard video, and 300 foot range of control. So a lot going on here with this quadcopter. And uh, this is for ages 14 plus. And right here at the top, it just says propel in large letters there. And not much going on on the sides here. Just some... Uh, descriptions there and then right here on the back you can see again ultra x wi-fi and um, some more uh, descriptions there of all the features and uh, you could see the uh, quadcopter clearly there in the back so a very neat uh, layout and design here so now let's um, take a look here at the bottom uh, right here it just has some warnings and stuff and um, the interesting thing here is it says there's a class 6 SD card included but it's actually a class 10 which is very good a 16 gig class 10 so don't be misled if it says class 6 there at the bottom so very neat so now let's uh, open it up and check it out let's just open here at the top and then just fold out these flaps and that's it now let's see if we can slide it out here or let's try from the bottom actually there's some papers there at the bottom and uh, accessories let's take a look here here we have the um, instruction manuals and brochures here so we'll set that right here and then we have the uh, main bag of accessories, the batteries, the um, SD card adapter, the charger, all the uh, miscellaneous things. Here we have the uh, spare propellers where we have eight of them, which is very good. And now let's just slide out the drone and transmitter here. Here's the drone. So let's take a closer look here at the drone. It says Ultra X right there, very neat. And the, each propeller says Propel on it. So very neat looking quadcopter, as you can see here. So we'll set it right here. And then here is the transmitter. Let's take a closer look at that. Very sharp looking transmitter. Looks very similar to other Propel quadcopters and has comfortable grips in the back. And um, overall, a very nice, um, comfortable transmitter. So let's organize all this and take a closer look at the contents of the box. Now, taking a last look at the contents of the box, we have the drone itself. It's eight spare propellers, four black and four gray. Two batteries at 3.7 volt, 850 milliamp. A 16 gig micro SD card a micro SD card to USB adapter, a proprietary charge adapter that uses the included micro USB cable, 
a screwdriver with spare screws, the instruction manuals and brochures, the mobile device holder, and the transmitter. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a very neat looking drone from Propel. This one is the Ultra X, as you can see there at the top, Ultra X. And each propeller says Propel. And this is a brushed motor quadcopter. And it already has the propeller guards already installed out of the box with the little screws there. So you'd have to use the included screwdriver to either change the um, propeller guards or propellers. Right here in the front, you can see it's a 720p HD wide angle lens camera at two megapixels. And unfortunately it is fixed, so it cannot be tilted either manually or remotely. Right here, you can see it's a micro SD card slot. And you just simply slide in and insert the micro SD card that's included right here. And it's a very good card at 16 gigs, class 10, as you can see. And it comes with a little uh, plastic case. So you just simply insert that in there and um, it will uh, record onboard footage with uh, no lag. And right here we have the uh, included battery and this set comes with two batteries. And this battery is a 3.7 volt, 850 milliamp battery. And the way it charges is it uses this uh, proprietary adapter right here from Propel. And you just simply slide it in like this in the right direction. And uh, right here you just simply insert the micro uh, USB cable. Either the included one or one you may have. And you just simply plug it in there and uh, there's a light display right there on the charger as you can see there letting you know that it's charging and it'll be red and uh, it'll turn green once it's fully charged. And the battery does take uh, around uh, an hour to 90 minutes to charge and does provide the quadcopter with around a nine minute flight time, which is pretty good. So you just simply snap it in and you can see the lights activate. There is no on off switch on this. And you can see all the lights, so a very well-lit quadcopter. As you can see with the two white lights in the front and the two red in the back. And um, very good for a night flight or orientation. Um, right here you could see there's these rubbery white landing legs. And they do a good job of absorbing uh, landings. And right here there's a peculiar uh, black... Uh, area here that looks like it could be for a uh, an optical flow camera or sensor uh, this model does not have one but perhaps there is one that has it or it could come in the future so very interesting little black dot there so that's essentially the drone so uh, now let's take a closer look at the transmitter now taking a closer look at the transmitter this is a very comfortable transmitter from Propel, and it's very similar to some of Propel's previous transmitters. And here in the back, it takes four AA batteries, as you can see here. Four AA batteries held in place by this plastic lid. Here's the uh, three or four channel switch to make it fly more like a helicopter. And here are these rubbery grips in the back to make it more comfortable to hold. Now going over the controls a bit, we have the left throttle stick, followed by the right rudder stick. And here in the center, we have the on-off switch. And then all around here, we have the directional trim switches. Here at the top, we have four buttons. We have the rates of speed. Uh, there are three rates of speed denoted by beeps. And then we have the auto takeoff, auto land button. So one push auto takeoff. And then the following one is the auto land. We have the camera and video button. So a short press will take a picture and a long press will start the recording. And right here we have the stunt button that can be used in rates two and three. And you can move the rudder in the direction you'd like the quadcopter to flip. So overall a very 
um, comfortable control here and you can see um, it has a good um, display here you can see the uh, rates of speed there and then you have the second rate and then the third rate so uh, very good display there for the um, um, rates of speed and um, if it's activated or not and there is a small installation right here at the top you just simply snap in the mobile device clip into place and uh, as you can see here you can do some adjustments and um, it is pretty uh, spacious right here so you could put a large mobile device but not a tablet and you can change the orientation and so um, a very good uh, mobile device holder that's very secure and is very easy to see and mount there at the top so a very comfortable control that provides the uh, drone with a uh, 300 foot range of control and uh, it's very accurate and precise so now let's take a look at setting the quadcopter up for its first flight and its app now setting the drone up for its first time flight is very straightforward. Once you have fresh batteries inserted into the transmitter and a fully charged battery prepared for the drone, you first want to activate the drone by inserting the battery like so, since there is no on off switch and you should see the lights rapidly blink. At this point you turn on the transmitter and you bind the transmitter to the drone by moving the left stick up and down like so. So now the drone is bound and the next step is to calibrate the gyros by moving both sticks down and to the right like so. And you should see the lights blink and now the quadcopter is bound and calibrated. Make sure to do this at the ground level on a flat surface without the quadcopter moving. Now you can push the auto takeoff button to take off. But first we want to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi using the mobile device. So let's do that right now. Now, once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you want to look for an entry that says Ultra X Wi-Fi, like so. And you want to connect to that. And initially, there is no default Wi-Fi password or anything like that. So you could just simply directly connect to that. And once connected, you would download and launch this app right here, which is the Ultra X Wi-Fi app from Propel. And it has this black icon and it's in both the ios and android app stores so you would just simply launch that and you will be greeted with this screen right here where you can see the ultra x quadcopter and there is a help option right here that explains all the app icons and screens so you can reference that you can go into settings and change some parameters and it is recommended to set the uh, preview 720p on to make sure you get the um, 720p HD footage and output and um, the primary one to start out with is this start and so you want to definitely click that and right away you should get a Wi-Fi feed right here and um, as you can see it has a good Wi-Fi signal here with um, pretty low latency and the um, Wi-Fi FPV range is around 80 to 100 meters. So not too bad there for the quadcopter. Now, briefly going over the app here. Um, uh, this icon right here on the far left takes you back to the main screen. This one takes pictures. That one takes videos. This one right here is your photo gallery. And if you enter the photo gallery here, you could see you can look at either the taken pictures or videos um, this changes the rates but you have to have the virtual controls on so you would turn them on right here and here you could see your virtual controls so you can now switch your rates of speed from 30 60 or 100 and uh, you can unlock the motors with that icon and use the app to fly this here is the accelerometer flight, so you would tilt the mobile device in the direction you want to fly the quadcopter. You can disable it there. Uh, this will flip the uh, FPV feed upside down if necessary. 
and here we can split the screen so we can put these in uh, mobile device goggles or FPV goggles. Um, here we can do our 360 flips and here we have some additional settings or a, a view of some settings here and um, that's essentially it. You can fly this completely using the um, uh, mobile device. The uh, transmitter is optional and here you can see you have the left throttle stick and right rudder stick. You have your trims, you have your auto takeoff and auto land and gyro calibration button. So definitely a lot of uh, icons and features and options within this comprehensive app. So overall it's a uh, very thorough package with a micro SD card included, uh, two batteries, propeller guards, eight spare propellers. Um, it's a definitely a good package at a good price. It is a smooth flyer. Uh, it's very durable and can handle a crash. So uh, it's a, a very neat quadcopter. So now let's take it out and uh, see how it performs.